Hello internet friends and potential internet enemies, my name is Zach Porter, otherwise known online as Porter Paradox, and welcome to another video. As you can see from the title of this video, today I'm doing an album review of Adele's new album, 30. Now before I start, I want to put a little disclaimer out there so I don't get a bunch of hate for the placement of my songs in this video. Uh, Adele is an amazing artist, I'm sure I'm going to talk about that throughout the entire video, but specifically with this album, I wanted to try and be as honest as possible and be as um, kind of critical as possible because when I break down videos, in case you're new here, I only break them down into three categories. I have the great category, songs that are the greatest, the pretty good category, songs that are pretty good, um, obviously just not as great as the great ones, but definitely better than the third category, which is the meh category. And obviously you don't associate Adele with meh, but I had to put something down there so I can be as honest as possible. So that's my little disclaimer, but we'll talk about that more as the video goes on. But we've got 12 tracks to go over, so let's get started. First up is the great category. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I was trying to be really picky with these songs, so I've chosen four to go in the great category. And those were Easy On Me, My Little Love, Oh My God, and To Be Loved. Let's start with Easy On Me. That was a clear first uh, single choice, obviously the first single that came out. Um, such an incredible song, so much emotion, so powerful, and um, it's just great. Definitely my second favorite song on the album. As far as my first favorite, no, take that back, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm see, we change things as we go here. <laughs> my favorite song on the album is definitely Easy On Me, followed by Oh My God. That's my second favorite song. Now, a lot of the times when I'm thinking of you know music that I like and putting songs in these categories when I'm doing these reviews I'm someone who is like I listen to a song and I'm like how quick can I um, does it uh, connect with me so oh my god is a very catchy song it is um, definitely a nice break from the depression that is this entire album uh, in a good way of course that just means you know Adele has an amazing way of taking her of overwhelming amount of emotions and putting them into 12 great songs um, but oh my god is definitely a nice break from all the sadness that comes on this album so that's why I really like that one too it's super catchy and um, that's why I was going to say it's my favorite song but easy on me I think slips in just a smidge higher now next I want to talk about my little love and what an emotional roller coaster is this Track, track number three. You might as well rename it Depression in a Bottle because that's what I got when I listened to it. I'm just kidding, I already have depression. And as you can see, humor is how I cope with that. Anyway, back to the song, My Little Love. Um, it is, the song itself is really great, but what's extra, what's really so emotional about it is in the first half of the song, it's kind of long, it's like six plus minutes, the first half of the song, um, she's singing and then there's cuts to Adele talking to her son and um, she's having very, um, like an adult conversation with her son um, who's very young but she's speaking to her son like he's an adult, they're on the same level, you know, they are talking about, oh, forgot my notes, they are just being open and honest and having an adult conversation so that's like what I think is really great when um, parents or adults treat kids kind of like little adults and are honest with them about stuff she's talking about, um, you know, how she loves her she loves her son more than anyone else, and um, that's great. But then moving on towards the end of the song, or the second half of the song, Adele switches talking from her son, and she's talking to someone else, or maybe she's talking to us, or she's talking to herself, it doesn't really matter, and she, st she starts kind of having a little breakdown and she's talking about how she's feeling lonely for the first time since her and her husband got their divorce and um, it's very emotional she talks about like she said she's um, not lonely very often and this is the first time that she's feeling like this and she's afraid that she might never stop feeling like this and you can hear her sniffling and she's getting emotional and it's very hard to listen to uh, on first listen for me um, I, I just I really connect with people um, emotionally like that so when Adele started crying I started crying and it was a big teary mess I think that that's great that's that just approves like the power of Adele and her ability to connect with people and be open with her emotions and be honest about that and lastly I want to talk about to be loved like I said the other one of my best 
uh, best songs on the album. It is just Adele and a piano, and that's really when I think that she is her best. Um, it's just that's when she's most raw. It's just her voice, and then this beautiful piano playing the entire time, and she f she really belts out and finishes the song with eight words. Let it be known that I tried, and I think that is just <sighs> it's a lot. And it's great, and I really connected with it. So, thank you, Adele. If you guys are casual Adele listeners, I suggest, and I really suggest, that you at least listen to these four songs. It doesn't really matter what order you listen to them, but if you're a casual fan who's only looking for the best of the best, these four songs are where you need to go. But you know what? It's time to move on to the pretty good category. I've chosen six songs to go in this category, and those were Cry Your Heart Out, Can I Get It, I Drink Wine, Woman Like Me, Hold On, and Love Is A Game. Now just like normal, I'm not gonna really talk too much about these songs. They are Adele songs, they're very good. They are just not, um, they just didn't click with me as much as those first four did. Um, like I said, very powerful, definitely emotional, and you know, they still deserve to be heard um, by all. But if you're just looking for what's the greatest versus the pretty goods, those six I think just don't have the same caliber of power to them. So definitely, you know, check them out if you can. Oh boy, and finally we've made it to my third and final category, the meh category. Now there's only two songs left. We've got Strangers by Nature and All Night Parking. And I will definitely let you guys know why they're in this category. Um, you know, nothing by Adele, like I said at the very beginning, is meh in nature. But, just as, you know, there was, it's been such a long wait for more Adele music, and the album 30 uh, is started by um, Strangers by Nature, and as the first song, I don't think that it really captured me the way that, um, you know, some of the other songs did. So I don't think, only because it was the very first song, and I have to be as particular as possible um, when I'm doing these reviews, I want to say that that is why I didn't put it in the pretty good category. If it hadn't been first, if it had been any other place in this album, I think it's fine. It's definitely a fine song. I don't have any hatred towards Adele or her music, but that's what happens with that one. Uh, but as far as All Night Parking goes, it is an interlude, and even though it's a really long one, I have to be consistent with my judging here. And if you've watched any of my album reviews, you know that interludes drive me crazy. Um, normally, in most instances, interludes are very short or they are just little breaks in between the album, and I've always been someone who thinks that there does not need to be those breaks in albums. I The time you spent making three interludes, this is hypothetical, this isn't about Adele, but in the time you spent making three interludes on your album, you could have just added one more song for your fans. And I think that that one more song could really be the game changer. Whereas interludes, I feel, are a waste of time and money. Now, like I said, in Adele's case on this album, this one is like two and a half minutes plus. It is not, It's, it's she's singing the whole time. Um, and she sounds fine, but I have to be consistent, at least as much as I can be. So that is why um, All Night Parking goes into the meh category. So, just to summarize with you guys, uh, obviously 30 is such a, another, another strong album from Adele. So powerful, so emotional, made me have literal tears. So definitely go check it out if you can. Stream it, buy it, get the vinyl, support vinyl sales. Well, I'll have another video about that coming out soon. But um, definitely check out 30 by Adele. It's so good. But with that out of the way, we've made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your day to do that for me. Hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. What songs did you resonate with um, on this album and what album should I review next? I'd love to hear from you guys. I always love that interaction. Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can always know when I post a new video because I do post very infrequently um, or at least uh, very randomly. I don't have a set schedule. I just make these when I make them and I post them. So definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And if you're feeling real froggy, check out my website, porterparadox.com. There's not much on there, but it's cool that I have my own website and I love to talk about it. So <laughs> definitely check that out. Thank you so much. And until next time, see ya.